went to my Master Mason's for the first time since the day before Thanksgiving. It's the first time I've seen him a few days ago. <coughs> since the day before Thanksgiving. And his memory uh, and he remembered me, but everything, everything, any memory that we had, he's completely forgot. It's been completely erased. <coughs> he hasn't been watching any of my videos because he didn't even know that he had it. He's like, he goes, I think I used to know how to have use YouTube. He goes, I think I might have had a YouTube channel a long time ago, but I can't remember. And he didn't know how to work it, <coughs> you know, like how to can YouTube. Because um, when I was at his office, I showed him some of my videos, Gonna Raise Hell. Showed him the video, Gonna Raise Hell with all the blood. And that was the day before I went to my Master Masons and did the chant. <clears throat> After I did the video, Gonna Raise Hell, I was kind of wondering to myself, I was thinking, <clears throat> why did I do that video and what does it mean? What does it mean? You know, because, you know, the hula hoop making the circle and the broken <clears throat> glass, the broken mirrors and the mirrors and, you know, everything I do, I suppose, every video I make is a ritual in a, in a sense. <clears throat> well, Master Math Mason's <clears throat> whole office, okay, is loaded with talismans, talismans, <clears throat> dragons. In one of my videos, you might have saw that says, um, thousand-year-old dragon made out of sacrificed baby bones. Okay, well, that was one talisman off of his shelf that Draken had given to me when Draken still inhabited his body about three and a half years ago. And it was so pristine and so, well you'll see, you can see it in my video, um, thousand year old talisman carved out of sacrificed babies, whatever, but the, the condition that that was in and being over a thousand years old in the condition, you know, in the museums it would have been, I, it would have been worth a fortune, <clears throat> but I didn't think about that, that's, it, I knew that there were Draken told me that there were over a thousand sacrificed souls of sacrificed people in that particular dragon. A talisman is when they sacrifice somebody, when, when a sacrifice is made, the reptilians <coughs> mainly, when they make a sacrifice, they take a portion of that person's soul that they sacrificed and um, uh, trap it somewhere like prisms. Prisms are really good. When one way for them to do in prisms, prism prisms, but it can be any object. It can be right here, fingernail polish. Seriously, it can be that simple. Any object they want. Well, my master mason's office. Okay, his shelves <coughs> are. full of demons, <laughs> his whole office is. <clears throat> the, below his office is the 181 court, the whole two city block, the Royal Order, Order of Gestures on that, and they do the ritual sacrifices below. And my Master Mason's shelf covering his whole office is like, it's overflowing now. Now he, he actually is gonna have to put another shelf up um, because they give him a t one of those dragon talismans every, every year he gets between one and three a year. And that is from the sacrifices we're doing below, the Royal Order of Gestures and the 181 Court, the whole two city block, in my Master Mason's office. My Master Mason's under mind control. He has no memory of, his memory is completely wiped. It's really, I, even if there was an honest doctor out there somewhere that wasn't in the Illuminati that would do a brain scan on him, they would see that his head is full of chips and find out that they, you know, anyway, but... Um, 
Okay, so my Master Mason's office is full of talismans, and he gets between one and three a year, and he doesn't know or realize what they're for, and I have, and he, everything I've told him, everything I, everything he's told me, he has forgotten, because he did, well, a lot of my information has come through him, when Draken inhabited him, when Pandar inhabited him, and when, uh, he was also, it was just Michael, you know, but like, I found out, I figured out, I started to figure out how to tap in to get him relaxed enough to where he would start to just all of a sudden say things he didn't know he knew, and all of a sudden the information would come through. I was figuring out how to do that, but, so my Master Mason is completely innocent in this, 100% million innocent, <laughs> uh, he's also innocent because of the taxes that the gestures and the Shriners are um, laundering through his tax business and my master Mace, Mason it says he has nine digit income and nine digit asset nine digits okay a year and this is he doesn't even have a key to his safe he doesn't they do this to all the tax people they have tax businesses all through the gestures the royal order of gestures and the Shriners you know to them, because all the people that are in their order are the top judges, the top lawyers, the top doctors, the top um, astrologists, astronomers, the top uh, geneticists, the top physics, the top nuclear people, the tops of everybody in their craft, okay, is <coughs> a mason, or in the Illuminati in one way or another. They're not all reptilian, only 3% of them that us are reptilian, but the... So anyhow, all the money that they're laundering through his business, my Master Mason is completely innocent of, just so you guys all know. He has nothing to do with it. He doesn't even remember what they do. They, Mind control is a very real and serious thing. What do you think those chemtrails are in the sky? What do you think you're... What do you think you are? Who are you? What are you? What are you doing here? Nothing. What are you here for? Do you see a light at the end of the tunnel? God damn you. Anyhow, sorry. Um... So, the talismans, every the sacrifices the reptilians do, it used to be where they could um, do like sacrifice one person and it would be like last a hundred years, you know, and then like what they would have it, the human back then, and then the, they would have to like sacrifice one person to have all the powers of the gods, like, like Atlantis, you know, and around the Egyptian mystery school time and the Mians or my <laughs> whatever. Anyhow, those reptilians that inhabited that body, we don't, in order to stay anchored in the body, they would only have to do like one sacrifice every hundred years or more or whatever. Now it's down to where they have to do it just about every day. And they're barely getting enough to even sustain themselves. The What they're getting now is no all these powers and supernatural, the powers that are in our divine birthrights that they always wanted they got throughout time that they took from us the powers of the gods if you will um they used to be able to get the powers of the gods by inhabiting certain people with a certain aura which is a aura only three percent of the world have this aura they call it the black aura okay so anyhow the sacrifices Everything that's going on, my Master Mason is completely innocent in. He's completely under mind control. And he is completely innocent. And I will back him up on that all the way. Um, he's When I just went back, back and talked to him, he'd forgotten everything. He knew who I was, but he had absolutely no memory whatsoever of any memory we'd ever had together at all. He didn't even know he had a YouTube account before. He's like, I think I used to know how to do YouTube. I think I might have used to have a, a, a YouTube account. But they wiped his memory of everything. So he didn't even know I was mad at him. And then I was like trying to remind him and tell him and everything. But so <clears throat> the ritual sacrifices that take place below, which is one of the places in the world, one of a whole shitload of places. Like there are Bohemian Grove like encampments all over the world, not just Boho, all over the world. Bohemian Grove like encampments in places where they do the rituals and get away with it. Okay. <clears throat> and especially because the rank, they're the top, the rank, like they, when they, the police officers won't arrest them because the people that are doing the sacrifices are reptilians who are inhabiting human bodies and those people 
have higher rank than any of the cops. <clears throat> Or anybody, uh, the judges. That's why they all get away with it. Is because when they go in front of the judges, when they do get caught or whatever for something or anything, then the judges are in their Mason temp community too. Because if they want to move up in rank, if anybody wants to move up in rank, anyway, they have to move up in degree in the Illuminati. <coughs> and. So anyhow, the people that are doing these things get away with it because they have higher rank than the people who are police officers or people who would get them in trouble or judge them. Judges, police officers, lawyers, they're all in their mason temples, okay? Sorry about that. So I think we got to help Oh well, it won't be this way much longer. I'm going to grow fangs pretty soon. Okay, so the... Sorry, hang on with Fake weed at the smoke shops is legal again. <laughs> it's a new kind of King Crypto Extreme. It has a lion on it too. Lion. The <laughs> only lion I know is a cowardly lion. <clears throat> okay, so my master Mason, his office is loaded with these talismans, okay? Dragons. And there are all different kinds, and he's getting so many that he had, they're running out of the shelves. He's got hundreds and hundreds of them. And they all hold a portion of a sacrificed soul of all the sacrificed people. And like the dragon that was given to me that I smashed in a million pieces, um, little children hold on to me as I slay this dragon. Your soul is now free. That's what I said when I got smashed that when they were real mad about that. But um, So all of the talismans have trapped souls in them. And when I was there at Master Mason's, we did the chant. I'm almost out of time. No, really, you're almost out of time. <laughs> it ain't me that's almost out of time, it's you. Alright, I'll be back with part two. I'm I gotta tell you about this. I gotta tell you about what happened. When I, we did, the sh we did chant and the inhabitation happened when the reptilian inhabited my master mason. I have to tell you what happened.